Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to connect Amazon AWS DynoDB in Salesforce as external data source and external object. I'm going to create a Dynamo table in uh, Amazon and using uh, external data source and external object, we can create records and also we can read data in Salesforce from the Dynamo table um, so for this, uh, uh, I'm going to show the steps to uh, complete this configuration and setup. Yeah, if you are new to Amazon AWS, you can search for DynamoDB here. And then you will be able to navigate to DynamoDB page. If you don't have any existing uh, table, you can use this create table and then you will be able to create a table. When we create a table, we have to give the table name and the primary key for the table. The advantage of Dynamo table is we need not add additional columns in it. <coughs> it makes use of attributes. So use this create table button and then create a table. In my case, I have created a table called employee and the partition key, which is the primary key is nothing but my employee number. So this is uh, done. I have created a table. If you want, you can explore the table items, the records in this table. And you can also uh, create an item. So using this create item, you can create a record so that it will be also available in Salesforce to view. So, and in Salesforce, create a named credential. The URL should be dynamodb dot your your, uh, your uh, Amazon AWS uh, region dot Amazon AWS dot com. Identity type can be named principal, or there are additional uh, um, types also. So uh, based on your uh, uh, security standards, you can select. And for authentication protocol, I'm using AWS signature signature version four. When I do this, I have to give access key secret uh, uh, key. Um, values uh, so you have to go to Amazon IAM and then you, you should be able to get those details uh, for, for the integration user so once the named credential is created create an external data source here I have selected the named credential and type is Amazon DynamoDB so I just created an external data source. Next, what we have to do is we have to create an external object in Salesforce. So if you go to external objects, you will be able to see a button called create and you can select the data source as uh, um, AWS DynamoDB and make sure the status is uh, deployed. And uh, I have created custom fields like age, employee number. This is going to be the primary key um, and a first name and a checkbox and also I have used another uh, text uh, um, called last name. So once these fields are created again go to data uh, sorry external data source. So go to external data source open that external data source which you created for DynamoDB click validate and sync. Once you click validate and sync select the object and click sync. Even if you do any changes to your external objects, make sure you sync the table to avoid any issues. So once the syncing is done, you can go to tabs in Salesforce setup. And then you can create a tab for your external object. So for my external object I created a tab once the tab is ready go to the tab employees tab click new so that you will be able to create the data so I'm going to make it as testify so this is going to be my partition key or primary key I'm going to click save so this is the record 
and this record is not stored in Salesforce. We are, we are viewing the data in Salesforce, but the data is stored in Amazon DynamoDB. So using this partition key, let's see whether we are able to query it. So it returned a value. So whatever information I have entered, I'm able to see it here. The advantage of Amazon DynamoDB is only one column is constant. That is nothing but our partition key. All other um, are not columns. They call that as attributes in Amazon. Please check the video description. I have shared my blog post from which you can get all the steps with screenshots for your reference. Thank you for watching.